I'm gonna record this introduction. Just know that if you hear background noise, it's because these hooligans are getting their morning craziness out. So, yeah. The dryer broke after I finished this whole background here. So we tried to troubleshoot it, waited about a week or two before ordering a new one and then decided that we have to be able to do laundry. So bought a two-in-one combo. It's awesome. It was also $2,500, so big unexpected expense. So now obviously there's space here where the other dryer used to be, the vent, plug-in, all that. So we've got to decide what is going to go here. We're thinking maybe like a broom closet to go up to the cabinets and then like make this look built in. But whatever we do has to be removable because the people that buy this house next probably won't have a combo. And like I said, we're shopping for houses. So I'm not sure what we're doing here yet. I just wanted to explain why <laughs> this suddenly looks undone after I spent 12 hours on it two weeks ago. So also I do have a microphone on order. I know that the audio in this is not great. I'm a beginner, but it'll be here Friday. Today is Sunday. So hopefully the next video will have better audio. Yeah, let me get my breakfast to cook girl I be. Good job, Arlo. It's a good job eating our breakfast. So this is going to be my focus for today. I'm going to move this laminate countertop here, take the sink out, take the faucet out, obviously, remove this backsplash, put a tile backsplash in, and then figure out how to hide this thing. The first step will be to remove this sink. So to do that, We've got to turn the water off, have these little things, disconnect the lines, disconnect all the plumbing, all that, and then start prying it up. All this can stay on because I'm not replacing the sink, so there's no need to take this off. Um, I would just have to have more plumber's putty if I did. So. Okay. Jeez. So I've got it dry fit on there. I've got it marked, although it kind of crossed off <laughs> where each goes. You know, hole for the sink will go here. There's not much on the side left over. That's just because this piece was like barely fitting. And then this, with this one, we'll come through with the router and the flush cut bit to trim off the extra. The router won't be able to get in this corner. So I've kind of already pre-trimmed it. So it's easier to file when we're done. This is what you put the Formica on with. You roll this on the back of the Formica and on the countertop after you've sanded, prepped, all that. Wait like 20 minutes and then put the Formica on top. So I'll show you that. This is what we're looking for. Like it's not sticky to the touch. So that's good. Here's what the outside piece looks like. See, it has some texture, but it's not like sticky to my hands. So this is ready. These are so it doesn't like adhere before I have it aligned properly. <laughs>
So when I tiled the kitchen, I ran into having to do a lot of really weird cuts and they're possible with an angle grinder, but I broke a lot of tiles. So hopefully this one will be better. I've laid out the tiles to see at what point I'll get to this outlet. And with the 16th inch spacing, I should have two full tiles under it. And then this one, I can pretty much just cut right here. So the next part that I'm not really excited about is figuring out the right length to bend this piece of tile trim. It's going to go like up from the top all the way over down to that corner. And I want to have it bent and on the wall before I do the tile. And ideally, I don't want to have to cut any tiles to be skinnier because we had to do that in the kitchen and it was so hard to get them even and to make it look good. So I, the only cuts I want to make on this tile are, of course, the half cuts for the offsets and then around this outlet. I don't want to cut anything else. Hmm, there would be room on this side. Fuck. I don't want to cut that. Yeah, you would see it. Cut that tomorrow. So I'm not doing it today. So I'll just go on this side for now. I bent the tile trim incorrectly. So it's not going to work. So I have to go get more. And I'm bringing Arlo with me. That's his butt, sorry. Um, just to get him socialized. This is driving me insane. I ruined a whole piece of tile trim because it was like that much too tall and I refused to cut small pieces of tile. I want it to match up like this, like for it to pretty much perfectly fit in there. So I had to buy a new tile trim, put it in. Now this side is too tall, so I've got to figure out how I mess that up and cut some off of that edge. Make sure that the miters match up or the angles, not miters. And then I found out I can just staple it to the wall. <laughs> so I'm doing that instead of nailing it. And then maybe I can keep going and not race, waste another $20. If this didn't work, I'm going to be so upset. Okay, good there. Good. Yes. I'm going to just put the corner piece in and then finish this wall and then go back and make that cut. Oh my God, get off of me. Don't do that, it's so bad for your skin. I don't know why I keep doing it, honestly. I should be wearing gloves. I'm gonna need so much cuticle oil. Wow. <laughs> okay, that takes the cake. That was so messy. Now I'm going to do some, if this bothers you, trust me, it bothers me too. This. I cannot tell you how much I hate this. Like I should have planned better. Oh. I had to turn the power off so that I could take this outlet out and lay the rest of the tile. So that's why it's pretty dark in here. Oh yeah, okay. It's just my face. No, I don't want all that you see to be my face. I'm probably going to change angles for this. Well, that should not work. Why does that work? Oh my god, I already cut this one. I'm a goofball. I wanna be where the people are. 
The legs are required for jumping and sand. Me doing that right now, scary. Oh, Lordy. I'm over it. Which one's next? I'm outside and I live on a busy road, so I just hope that you can hear me. Hopefully the mic helps. So I need to replace this vent cover because it just never worked. And there's a truck coming. I need to replace this vent cover, put this one back on, and then attach it to the house. And then on the inside, I need to seal it off because our dryer doesn't need a vent. But we can't just have like an open hole to the house. So that is what I'm going to do. I don't know the best way to do that because I can't peel it off. Voila. Well, obviously got to clean that up now. This, y'all, person who built this house was just dumb. Don't worry, I'm, I'm cleaning this up. This did not go to plan. We're going to need some silicone in here. Because this thing cannot get flushed with the house. Like, I had to hammer some of the mortar out so that it could even fit in there but the person who built this house just cut so many corners and you know can only fix so much so it's on there like as well as i can get it on there it's not going to be perfect yeah we're just gonna have to get some silicone that's like brick colored and try to fill in some of those gaps this is how i'm closing the dryer vent for now on the inside um literally painter's tape in a harps bag so could be fancier but it'll keep animals out of the house for now and i'll find a different solution when we put a cabinet here or something and i'll have to touch up the wall too this room is far from done but i'm running out of time because i'm going to my mom's house tomorrow and then most of monday is going to be spent grouting the tile and just trying to clean up so i still need to put the edging on the counters i need to replace the faucet because it's broken. We need to figure out what's going on back here. That security box still needs to come down. This security box still needs to come down. I need to clean up. So this is the end of part two. Maybe this will be a three part. I don't know. Like I said, I work full time. Spencer works full time. So this is just what I do on the weekends. I just discovered that my microphone had died halfway through some of those videos, so we'll see if you have audio or not. I guess I'll find out when I'm editing. I went to watch a couple of them, and I was like, great, they're silent. This is my absolute least favorite part, putting everything away. But hey, it actually turned out okay. It's finally clean in here again. Thank goodness. No more tools everywhere. The doors are finally back on, even though I'll just have to take them off again.